So today we're going to talk about how to diagnose your friends, family members, and your neighbor's tongue um, by way of the color of their tongue. No, you don't want to do that. I'm just kidding. And of course, when I say diagnose, we're just talking about clues of potential underlying causes. This is not a full diagnosis. The color of your tongue can give you valuable information on what's going on internally. So let's go through the different colors. If the tongue is bright red, it could be a folate deficiency. This is a vitamin B9. It could be B12 deficiency. It could be scarlet fever. You usually get scarlet fever between ages 5 and 15 years old. Or a very rare disease, Kawasaki disease in children, you can get something called strawberry tongue. Next one is purple tongue. This is very poor circulation. Now, this is similar to the blue tongue where you can have just decreased oxygen, hypoxia. This is just more poor circulation simply because you're getting a buildup of the venous blood, which is not oxygenated. Okay, white tongue is usually candida or some type of fungus or yeast. Now, one of the most important things for candida is you must, if you ever want to get rid of candida, you have to go zero sugar and very low carb because yeast, fungus, mold, candida love carbohydrates, especially when you get into milk sugars. So you must avoid that. You need to do keto and that's going to help you. Now, if the tongue is dark or black, it could be some medication you're taking or you're doing chewing tobacco or smoking excessively or radiation poisoning can also create this effect. The tongue could potentially turn an orange color if you take antibiotics. If your tongue starts turning a little bit green, it could be a bacterial infection. Blue is hypoxia or decreased oxygen. Yellow is more of a bacterial infection. So yellow and green could be very similar. And then a pink tongue it actually is normal. So go ahead and type in the comments below, what color is your tongue? Hey, we're back. With another amazing recipe. No grains, no sugar, totally keto. There's no suffering in keto. Absolutely not, Karen. And it's an immune system builder. Absolutely. You have to check this out. I think you should hurry up, watch the recipe, and make it yourself. It's just so easy to be keto. But is it simple? It's super simple. We hope you enjoy making it as much as we are enjoying eating it.